and welcome back to our blog. I'm Miss C. Turner, sales associate with Charleston Homes. Today we're going to talk a little bit about building a new home. There are a couple steps that need to take place ahead of time before you actually decide to build. First and foremost, if you have a house to sell, we recommend having a licensed real estate agent come out and let you know what you could sell your house for. That'll give you an idea of how much equity you'll have going into your next house or if you're going to break even or where you'll exactly be financially. After you know that number, then we recommend going and getting pre-approved through a bank. Getting a pre-approval with the knowledge of what equity you'll be bringing from your house or won't be bringing from your house will allow you to know exactly what type of house and what price you're looking at that you will be able to afford. Without this knowledge, you could go out and look at and fall in love with a house that is well outside of your price range. Um, after you know exactly what you can afford, we recommend figuring out if you would like to build or if you would like existing. There are some pros and cons of each. Existing homes usually have sellers who are motivated to sell, so sometimes they're willing to give you um, a lower price than what it's listed for. If you're looking at building, normally builders don't have as much room to move on their price as some sellers do and don't have quite the same motivation as sellers. Existing homes usually do not come with a warranty, so it's very important that you look at how old the roof is, the furnace, the AC, because if those are older, then you need to take into consideration the cost for upgrading those items. Also, if you don't like the carpet or floors or stuff like that, you should take into consideration the cost of upgrading anything when looking at the overall price of that home. When looking at building, you have a warranty. Um, usually, like Charleston Homes offers a one-year warranty on new construction that covers everything bumper to bumper, and then there are extended manufacturer warranties um, that apply to such things as your furnace, AC, etc. With building, when you know you're getting that warranty, then you don't necessarily have to take into consideration other costs that could come up in the first, say, five to ten years of living in that house. You also know that you're the first person to have lived in it, um, so therefore you know exactly how you've taken care of the house. Um, once you know that you have decided that you want to build, the next step is finding a builder. Different builders offer different plans, and it's nice to go out and look at them to figure out if you're looking at a ranch, um, a two-story, or as Charleston offers, we have ranch homes that actually have a loft option. The loft option can have a bedroom and bathroom, so it's kind of a good combination between a ranch and a two-story. For those buyers who have one that wants to buy a two-story and one that wants to buy a ranch, it's kind of the in-between house for them. Um, so it's really important to get out there, um, look and see different floor plans so you know exactly what you're looking for, what you like, what you don't like. Um, after you narrow down the style of house you want, then maybe one of the hardest things to figure out is where exactly you want to live and finding the lot. Um, Builders can help you extensively um, to find a lot. Um, if you let them know the general area you're looking at, um, the type of lot you want, um, there's flat lots, um, which is going to give you a deep basement that'll have one window, um, which will allow you to finish a bedroom later for um, to have a conforming bedroom. There's daylight lots, which will give you um, two windows in the basement and then give you some extra light down there. And then there's walkout lots. Walkout lots will give you a true walkout with a patio slider. Uh, the cost of um, flat to daylight to walkout, those will go up in price um, on lots and um, just in the price of the house in general as well. So those are other things to take into consideration. And we highly suggest um, that you have a real estate agent and also the builder come out and meet you on any lot that you're looking at building on so that you know ahead of time exactly how the house will fit on that. Um, after you know the house and the lot, then it's a good thing to sit down and figure out exactly what you want in the house. What type of flooring, countertops, siding, stone, everything else that goes into that house so you can really customize it and make it your own. Um, we ask that you stop out and see us at our models and you can get more information on all of these items and we can help you build the, um, your next home. Thanks for listening to our blog and have a great day.